Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start Baby, yeah, I know you been like that. Got it like a whole stop, baby. Show them say you're wicked like that. We live where the war is raging. Isaac and I are here to report the Panther news. To kick off the week, we hope your confusion and tardiness was kept to a minimum with our new bell surprising us after Thanksgiving break. Now, we have Ricardo Velasquez with planks and Perro smoothies. Hello Panthers, welcome back to Health and Fitness. Today we'll be doing planks. This exercise utilizes your own body weight to improve your core and upper body strength. Let's get right into it. Lay face down with your forearms on the ground. Extend on legs behind the back and rise up on the toes. Keeping your back straight and hold it for 30 and 60 seconds. Next up, Casey Kerr with our tasty healthy snack. Thank you Isaac, and hello Panthers. Welcome to health. Today I'm making pear oat maple smoothies. These great snacks are chock full of fiber, vitamin B, C, and K, and minerals. These smoothies are really easy to make and with just a few ingredients, they taste delicious. The first step is to add one cup of vanilla oat milk to your blender. The next step is to add one cup whole milk Greek yogurt. Now we add two sliced pears. You can slice these any way you want. You have to first slice up the top and then remove the core. Now we add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now you can add cinnamon to taste. Finally, we add ice, just enough to make it cold. Next stop, Flavor Town. Now that the pears are sufficiently pulverized, we can pour it into the glasses. I can taste a little bit of pear, and then the rest are, the rest of the flavors are, it's just too much flavor. Smooth, <laughs> no pun intended, smoothie. Um, Mild, pleasant, um, and I'd like to drink some more. It tastes like something you would like eat uh, in the mornings for like a healthy breakfast or something. Luminarias are still available for sale, so if you would like to support your magnet program, visit an academy and teacher Hello, for more information. Hello, Austin Panthers. Today we'll be talking about a very important lady that works here at Austin High School's library, Miss Morrill. Well, goodness gracious, 
First, you need to be a school librarian, you need to have a teaching certificate. So that means you, you get your bachelor's degree and you focus on education, of course, and then um, whatever your primary focus is, maybe it's English or maybe it's science or maybe it's math or something. And then you have to have at least two years experience um, in order to become a school librarian. And then you also will need a master's degree in library science. I love science fiction, but can I pick a couple? <laughs> I also love realistic fiction. For some reason, um, that seems to be very popular with our students as well. And I think that probably comes from all of us. We, 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 whenever we read something in realistic fiction, we always know somebody who has that same problem or some situation that's going on, so we can relate to it that way. One of my favorites is called We Were Liars, and it is, it's a real, it's a mystery, but it's also realistic fiction as well. Reading is probably one of the most important things in English because it's the way people communicate, it's like how they express themselves, right? I think that's really important to be able to understand different perspectives, and I think she's a really enthusiastic energetic woman um, you know I love her attitude every time you walk into the library she's smiling she's very welcoming that is it for today Panthers and remember the Panther way is the right way before we get into sports with Lava Coral remember to support your Panthers basketball soccer and of course wrestling team with their season starting Hey Panthers, it's Paul Corral with Panther Sports. Last Friday, the Panther football team ended their season in Fort Stockton, Texas for the air round of the Texas UI playoffs with a score of 45-0 against a tough Lubbock Cooper team. Here's my report on the game. Hey Panthers, on Friday, November 23rd, I traveled to Fort Stockton, Texas to catch up on the air round of the Texas UI playoffs. Well, unfortunately, the Panthers weren't able to come on top as they faced off against Lubbock Cooper where Lobo Cooper scored 48 points and in the game 48-0. William Rodriguez had 73 yards and 14 tackles. Here's what some players and coaches had to say about it. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud. I mean, I expect a lot from them, to be very honest with you. Uh, but I'm very proud. Oh, I, I love my team. Like, like I said before, like my sophomore year, we went, lost every game. And my senior year, it's just, uh, by district champs. And then second round of the playoffs, great. I love my team. What if, what if, I feel like we could have done a lot better when I mean, we showed it all year but not today. Uh, if I could give any advice to, to the young ones, the younger ones, I'd say that you don't, you don't have to be the biggest on the field, you don't have to be the fastest. You just gotta, you gotta be the smartest, you know? You gotta, you gotta play smart, and if you play smart, then I see you make plays. That's it for today, Panthers. Stay golden. Now on to basketball. Last week, the boys varsity team hosted the Bowie Bears. Here's Isaac Leiper with his report. What's up, Panthers? We're here at the Austin High School varsity basketball game versus Bowie where Austin fell just short of the win. Let's see what some players had to say about it. The best thing about our team is probably our fast break. And our fast break was working out really well at that point in time. So I thought it'd be best to keep pushing the ball and keep trying to score so that we can extend the lead. We went, we've gone on a good run to start off our season, but I'll, I'll end it with this. We just, this was a good wake up call. This is a team that the city knows we shouldn't have lost to. Thank you, Isaac. The boys competed in the Lorena tournament where they won two games and lost two games. The boys of City competed against the Chapin Huskies last night. Here's Daniel Lerma with his report. Hey Panthers, on Tuesday, December 4th, the freshman JV and varsity boys basketball teams traveled to Chapin to take on the Huskies. Unfortunately, the freshman and JV teams lost. However, the varsity team defeated the Huskies with a score of 44-34. Varsity's record is now 5-2 overall and 1-1 one one in district play. Here are some interviews and highlights from the game. We work together a lot. We communicate, we work together, and we're just a good teammate. We're a good team. A lot of communication and 
trusting our teammates a lot. Um, we're learning how to play like a team more and we're learning more about each other. I mean, it's a loss, so there's a lot you can take from it. We're playing together and we're playing for each other, which is always great with the team. I'm very proud of my team and very proud of my teammates for all stepping up in it. It's, like I said, it's not just a one-man show. It's, a, it's five people on the court at a time and we're playing like that. And it's just the people on the bench too. We have so much energy and everything's coming together. So I'm very proud of every single person on the team, every coach, everybody who supports us, our school. Yeah, it's, it's been a good ride so far. Our mindset and attitude, like a lot of people don't expect us to win, but we don't really care what people think. We're the ones that are putting in the work. We're the ones in the locker room. We're the ones on the court every day. So it doesn't matter what everybody says. Oh, Austin's not supposed to be chafing. Austin's not supposed to. We, at the end of the day, you know, it's not an upset if you expect to win. And that's the thing, ETW. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, Panthers. Thank you, Daniel. Now to the girls basketball team. They hosted the Bowie Bears last night. Here's my report on the game. Hey Panthers, on Tuesday, December 4th, the Lady Basketball teams hosted the Bowie Bears, but unfortunately all three teams weren't able to come on top. Here's what some players had to say about it. I feel like they put up against a real challenge. They didn't feel like we were like down low. They, they actually think that we can actually beat them. It was actually hard going against them, but they actually put up against a good fight and I would say we can we could get better by learning from them. I mean, some good things that we definitely took away from last night's game would have to be our teamwork. We definitely worked as a team, especially with the passes and our new drills that are like extremely hard to do, but we we worked together really well to getting the ball to the goal. Defense cuz we got steals and but just oh, the shots. <laughs> um, they listened. Once we got back on defense, they did the rotations right. We rotated, we, we passed the ball on offense. I'm really proud, especially since we're like a young, most of the team is like young girls when we have, I think, four seniors. So I'm really proud because a lot of girls stepped up and they showed what they had. and. We kept our pride and we kept the intensity and everything, so it was a good game. The freshman girls finished off their game losing to the Bears 47-22. JV finished by losing 33-6 and varsity lost with a score of 49-40. On Friday, the girls will compete against the Chapin Huskies. Good luck, ladies. Now to wrestling. The wrestling team traveled to Churchill to compete in the Churchill Classic. The girls finished off with first place and Andrew Yoiko finished off with second place. Now to swimming. The swim team competed last Friday at Memorial Pool as they faced off against Parkland and Isleta. That's it for Panther Sports. This was Paul Corral, stay golden. Lastly, we have Damon Cardenas with the latest on the portables. Recently, EPISD bond was passed to run play all around our district. Here are some insights on how Austin High School will be affected due to this. Well, I know they're gonna be starting the um, hallway that's above us, the science wing and then they'll be starting with us. I'm all for it. I think it's a great idea to remodel downstairs and also um, I just hope they do the bathroom. I think we'll definitely benefit from it because we'll have a brand new remodeled wing with um, new electricity and um, plumbing hopefully and ceilings. So as a whole, that'll be great. And the timeline has changed and it looks like that we probably won't go to the portables until either this summer or next year. I guess it won't be so much of an inconvenience because it's going to be after testing um, and in the summer they make us like clean our walls anyway so. I feel good about the move to the portables. Of course it's going to be an inconvenience to a certain extent but at the same time um, it's going to be a classroom where the ceiling doesn't look like it's going to fall down on you any minute. 